Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Flash BIOS button to update the MSI MAG B550M mortar motherboard. Now, this procedure works whether your system is completely assembled or if you just have a bare motherboard with no CPU. So this comes in very handy if you have a brand new Ryzen 5000 series CPU and it won't work with your motherboard. And the reason for that is because the BIOS version on the motherboard from when it was manufactured is too old to support the Ryzen 5000 series processors. On page 48 of the motherboard manual, MSI has high level instructions on how to perform this procedure. And this is the motherboard manual page right here. I'm just going to walk through these instructions really quickly. So the first step is to download the latest BIOS file that matches your motherboard model from the MSI website. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And then you want to rename that BIOS file to msi.rom and save it to the root of your USB drive. That's very important. And then you connect the power supply 24 pin connector and 8 pin connector to your motherboard. You don't have to have a CPU or memory or video card installed, although this will work if you've already installed all those components. Then you plug the USB flash drive that has that MSI ROM file into the correct flash BIOS port on the rear I.O. panel. And then you make sure the power supply is turned on and you press the flash BIOS button and the LED on the motherboard near there is going to start flashing and then when it's done after about five to six minutes the BIOS flash is complete. The first step is to find your motherboard on the MSI website and when you find your motherboard and the link for this particular motherboard is going to be in the description by the way. So when you find your motherboard you're going to probably be on the overview page and you need to switch to the support page for your motherboard. And then once you go there, you might be on the BIOS page like you see here, but if you're not, make sure you go to the BIOS page. And then it shows all the BIOSes that have been released for that motherboard so far. And you want to grab the latest version. So at the time of recording, it's this version right here. So we'll go ahead and download that file. And it's a very small file. It's less than 30 megabytes zipped up, so it should come down pretty quickly. After downloading that file, it's going to be in a small zip file. And we need to go into that zip file and get it ready to be used to flash the BIOS. So the first thing you should do is confirm that you have file name extensions enabled in Windows. So I, that's set up on my system. Then we're going to go ahead and extract this zip file. So we'll do extract all on that. And it's going to create another directory that has the unzipped version of that file. So then we go into there, we're going to see the actual BIOS file right there. And we have to rename that to msi.rom or else this is not going to work. So we'll go ahead and rename it to msi.rom just like that. And it's going to warn you about the file name extension. Go ahead and ignore that and click yes. So now we've got that ready to go. And now I've got my USB drive down here, and it's an 8 gigabyte USB 2.0 drive. It's actually fairly old, but that's what you want. You want a small capacity USB 2.0 drive. And the vast majority of people who have problems with this procedure are using newer, larger USB 3 or 3.1 flash drives. So make sure you have an old USB 2.0 drive, if at all possible. And it needs to be 16 gigabytes or smaller in most cases. The other thing you want to do is double check to see how that USB drive is formatted. So we can right click on it and check the properties and you can see right here that it's formatted with FAT32 and that's what we want. If it's formatted with NTFX or XFAT that's wrong. You're going to have to go in and format the drive. And when you do that, that's going to erase anything that might be on there. So I'm already set up with FAT32. So that's all I need to worry about in this case. So I'm going to cancel out of this. So after you've confirmed that, then you move or copy that renamed BIOS file down here to the root of this USB flash drive. And it's very important that it's in the root, not in a folder or directory. So now we've got the USB drive ready to go. 
Let's take a moment and review the key steps you have to follow to use this procedure. I'm not going to read all of them, but you can stop the video and read them and make sure you haven't missed anything or done anything wrong here. And by the way, you can do this procedure if you've already assembled your system or with just a bare motherboard with a power supply plugged into it. It works either way. So I just want to clear that up because I get a lot of questions about that. Here's the motherboard mounted on my test bench. I've got the 24-pin main power supply connected right there. And then up further to the top right, I have the 8-pin EPS power supply connector plugged in there. Both these have to be plugged in or else this procedure won't work. Here's the rear I.O. shield. That is the port right there that you have to plug the USB drive into. And then right next to it is a switch that you're going to press when you're ready to commence the procedure. So let's go ahead and plug the USB drive in there. And then after that, when you're ready, after you've turned on the power supply switch, you'll press that button. Make sure your power supply is plugged in, and if it has a switch, make sure you turn the switch on. Now we're ready to press the flash BIOS button. Just hold it in for a second or two, and then you can see some lights start to flash, and I'll show that in a second here. If your USB drive has an LED, it should start to flash after a few seconds. Now, if it only flashes for maybe 4, 5, 10 seconds and then stops, something is wrong. If the flash procedure is working, you should see a little LED right next to the USB drive flashing. And this should flash for 5 to 6 minutes. While this is going on, you're also going to see the CPU LED debug light turned on. Both the BIOS flash LED and the LED on your USB drive will flash for five to six minutes. When they both turn off, that means that it's done. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe, because that really helps the channel out.